Good morning, Facebook family and friends and my faithful, loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is Monday, um, March the 7th, March 7th, 2016. It's like these days, once again, these months fly by so damn quick. We just got to be paying all the bills. It looks like we have other bills due again. I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Over the weekend, I had a long conversation with a, okay, with a, a female friend of mine, a straight female lady, and she has been dating a man that she suspects is bisexual. Uh, she, I'm not going to go into the details as to why she thinks he is bisexual, but based upon the details that she shared with me and the information that she's found, uh, more than likely he possibly is bisexual. So the question she had for me is that she likes this guy. Um, she really, this is someone that she really cares a lot about. Um, she's in love with him, and he, he seems to be in love with her. They make a great couple together. So the question she had was, what did I think about her dating a bisexual man? Now, this lady is in her 30s. I'm 46. She's in her late 30s. Uh, she's been wanting a relationship pretty much most of her life. She has no children. Um... This is the first person who this man has. He's a professional. He has a great job. He has a good income. He is an attractive guy. He has his, he has his shit together. I mean, he's not some guy who's some bum on the street. Uh, he's educated, um, has a great income, great career. Uh, he has a lot of positive things going on in his life. Um, but he's bisexual. So, and this is what I told her, and I think a lot of you all might not like my advice, but I'm going to say this any damn way. I told her that what I would do is sit down with him, and first off, I, I strongly suggested that she and him go to through some type of counseling to deal with um, if this is what they want to do, be together based upon his sexuality. So first, he's going to have to be honest about his sexuality. And then they may have to go to some type of counseling, couples counseling, where they can openly address the sexuality issue out in the open between the two of them so he can be comfortable, feel comfortable talking with her about his sexuality and him being bisexual. And he could proceed forward with being honest to her about, you know, things going on in his life. Because I think that's what it boils down to in any relationship. I think some people, are, we all can tolerate certain things if... We are aware of these things in the person that's being truthful and honest. I don't see anything wrong with someone dating someone bisexual. You know, if if you're comfortable with the situation um, and you know that the person is not putting you in harm's way or doing anything reckless that can harm you in the relationship. Now, with that said, I strongly suggest that, like I said, I've been in a relationship for 20 years. I said, you need to begin educating this man about protection, condom use, um, chulada. And I said, even for her, it might be an option. If there's a concern that he may not, if, you, if, if, if there is a concern that he is not following, practicing safe sex, um, you have two choices, like I told her. She can either continue to have sex with him using a condom, or she can get on Truvada, which would protect her from HIV, but not any other sexually transmitted disease. Because uh, if he's bisexual, the question that comes to my mind is where is he meeting his sexual partners for this bisexual sex? Is, is he seeing someone on the side? Is he going through dating apps? Is he going through Grindr? I have a lot of questions as to how he might be meeting these other individuals for his sexual conquest. Now... Some people may think I'm crazy for suggesting this, but I don't, I don't see a problem with a older woman, she's in her late 30s, dating a man that she knows is bisexual, as long as he's honest and up, up front about what's going on in his life, and she's comfortable with it. Uh, she's not quite comfortable with it yet, it's, but she's, she's, she's wondering if this, if this is something that she could deal with. There are a ton of women out here who are married to men that they know are gay or bisexual, and they 
that they have a great life together. They have children. They got married. They have a wonderful life together, but they know that these men are gay or bisexual. And if and it, and it, and it's, it's, we have a major problem in the black community with women finding mates that are, are that are black. I mean, unless she wants to date a white guy, I mean, she might have the same problem there too. So, if 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 you absolutely have to have somebody black, and most of the men that you meet are gay or bisexual, or you know, of course, it's, it, but you're comfortable with the situation, I don't see anything wrong with it personally. I don't. I mean, I don't believe in monogamous relationships anyway. So. But I do believe in people being honest and upfront about the situation going on with their lives. And if you're comfortable with that person, and if you love that person, then I would suggest, I would strongly suggest that before you toss that relationship away, you know, it's hard to find somebody that you're compatible with these days. It's hard to find someone that you can love, that loves you, and you love them back. I don't think I would toss my relationship away because he's bisexual, but I try to see if I can deal with it. Does that make sense? So the question, she asked me, would I date a man who was bisexual? And I had to tell her, I said, you know, I think my situation, my situation might be a little bit more different than yours. Um, I'm not saying that I could tolerate. I, if I was a single man and I met someone I really liked and I knew this person was into women, could I tolerate it? It would depends on the, it would depend on the person and the circumstances of the situation. So I can't just say a blanket yes, because that wouldn't be honest. It would just depend on the individual and, the, and what's going on in his life and what's going on in my life and how compatible we are. Now, if I, if I get a man who's behind me 100 percent and we love each other and it's a great compatible relationship. We have some, some things are just going great. Like, like her relationship is just going 100% great. Then sure, I don't think I would have a problem with dating a bisexual man knowing that he was dating women um, while in a relationship with me. Long as, the, long, as everybody, long, as, long as we have an upfront, honest discussions and these women that he's seeing also know that he's in a relationship with a man and he's bisexual. She just all boils down to being people being honest and being truthful. Um, I don't want to deal with lies. And I don't think well, no one should have to deal with somebody who's lying and being dishonest about what's going on with them sexually. If a person is bisexual, then spit it out. Say it. And be truthful. Give me an option. Is this something I want to deal with or not? Don't lie to me. Don't try to hide this. And it goes to any man dating a woman. Um, just tell the truth. Some women are, are some women are very comfortable with dealing with. Uh, I have, matter of fact, it's funny because I saw a friend of mine who's been married for over twenty years to a woman, and she's known he was gay the whole time. But they have a great relationship. They have great kids together. I mean, um, they they have the, the kids are now entering into college. Um, he wanted children. I knew this man in the early nineties. I mean, so I've known him for almost. Almost 30 years. I mean, this man, is he's an executive at a company. He's smart. He's intelligent. He's got fat over the years. I said, oh, she must be feeding this man like that. He didn't get huge. I said, you need to really work, focus on trying to lose his weight. But, um, I mean, he went from being a very attractive guy in the early 90s to kind of obese now. He's kind of fat. He needs to lose some weight. I hate to say it, but it's just the truth. So, at the end of the day, like I told her, this is your life, not mine. The decision is going to boil down to you and what you're, really, what you're comfortable with. And if you can deal with this man knowing that he is bisexual and he's having seen men on the side, or however, he, my only concern is how is he meeting these men. So I've expressed that in protection, condoms, um, chubada. Make sure that you don't pick up something out there. We just have to be honest. This HIV thing is kind of out of control in our community. So he has to be, he has to practice safe sex so he doesn't pick up anything and give it to her. You know, that's, that's just being honest about it. Um, I think some people like I said might, might not agree with what I'm saying, but at some point in time, when you have all these African-American black women here in America who don't have a decent mate, 
And you have all these guys who want the companion of a female who are bisexual. They want to get married. He wants This man wants to get married. He wants to have children. He can afford to have children. He can afford to take care of her and her kids. He can afford to do whatever he wants to. The man has, have, has a very good income. He's did everything right. Owns a beautiful home. She owns a beautiful home. I mean, I said you sell. She, she can sell her home and move in with him, and they can have a happy life together. But she, just, but she has to be willing to. He has two things. She has to be willing to be comfortable with dealing with his sexuality, knowing he's bisexual. He has to be honest with her about what's going on in his life. He's going to take his pride, put it to the side, and sit down and tell the truth and be honest. And I think people can. Do, I think a lot of people can deal with something long if you're dealing if a person is being honest and truthful to you, you can deal with a lot of issues. It's the lying, the sneaking, the cheating, the running around behind my back, all that type of stuff, and I bust your ass in, in a bunch of lies, that's where the problems come in, because you've been dishonest. A lot of people, a lot of people just don't want to deal with a liar. They can deal with the truth, but they can't deal with dishonesty. That's just my take on should African American women. So, long story short, do I think African American women should, black African American women in America should date bisexual men if they're comfortable with it? I don't see anything wrong with it. If you're comfortable with it and this person's comfortable with it and they're being truthful and honest, go for it. And if you think that you can have a great marriage, and if you, if, if you can't find, if you, it's hard today to find someone who's willing, especially a black man, who's willing to. Marry you, take care of you, take care of the children he's going to give you. I mean, it's a lot to think of. I mean, you just, you find somebody of decent quality these days is very complicated. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, if you like my videos, share it with family and friends. I look forward to hearing you all's comments about what's. I mean, so what could be so? What could go? What could be so horrible about? Two people loving each other, but one person's bisexual. I don't know. I don't. I don't see a problem with it personally. If, if everybody's comfortable and happy. Anyway, I'm out of here. Um, don't forget to click like, share my videos with family members and friends, and I love to read you guys' comments about this subject, which is a very important subject in our community because there's so many bisexual men out there today, and women for that matter. So we need to figure out. How can you, is it possible to, to, to have a relationship with someone who's bisexual and you're not bisexual? I think it's possible. Anyway, I'm out of here. Enjoy your Monday.